Hey guys, S Illusions here. Let's jump straight into this video. So we're talking about NAT type and getting your NAT type to open from strict or moderate. First of all, you see the power up and start up. I've got it in power saving mode. Usually it will be on instant on. You want to turn this off to power saving. This is the first step that you want to take. So make sure you've enabled energy saving from the instant. The next thing you want to be doing after you've got it in the power saving mode is you want to come out you want to go into network settings you want to come down to advanced settings uh, there's a few other steps I've seen on YouTube but this is the correct way to do it you want to look at your MAC address alternate MAC address and then what you want to be doing here is clearing the MAC address alternate MAC address if you know it or clear it and then it will prompt you to restart your console so as normal, we want to restart the console, so we'll let it go through the process, and whilst it's doing that, I will talk on about what we're doing. Basically, seeing as I can't get in any games anyway, because from the release of uh, Ultimate Edition, I was spammed with avoids, which was quite funny, and I can't actually find any multiplayer game on any game, so I can't use Xbox at all. So <laughs> I thought, wow, this is just a joke. I'm in talks with Microsoft at the moment, which are trying to do... Uh, an investigation they put me through to their enforcement team all sort of proper stuff so they're doing that so in the meantime i thought how can i make any content and i thought i know what i'll do i'll make a nat setting type video because i know that this is a pain to a lot of people because with strict or moderate nat type and your ports being closed off or behind firewalls it will stop you from finding multiplayer games anyway in its own right it is a pain so this might be quite helpful to quite a lot of people all we're going to be doing is allowing the port to be open uh, through your console so you can easily access multiplayer games and you don't really have a problem. It doesn't really matter if you've got a good or fast or mid-range sort of broadband connection. Um, it will be vice versa. The same applies to all. So now what's going to happen is your console is just going to go through a restart, reboot, come back up. And then what we're going to do is obviously sign into your account, your profile. And then we're going to jump into settings. And then we're going to do it via there. Just type in my fancy little password, which sometimes I forget, which is not always the best. You see my Siri there, fan of Witcher 3, MMOs and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, Black Ops Beta, I don't usually play COD. It was just there as a test to see if I can get in any multiplayer games, hence the FIFA as well. So now we're back in. What we want to be doing is going into network settings again. And then what you want to do is go into test multiplayer connection. Now it's going to test your connection. It's going to go through. And when it comes up, regardless what it says, we want to hold left bumper, right bumper, left trigger, right trigger, all in sequence at the same time. So hold all four down at the same time. And then basically it will prompt you with our next screen. So it's just going to go through, take the, uh, check the connection out here. Load in, load in, load in. Okay, everything is good. There's no problems. So our bumpers and triggers together. There we go. So we got a detailed network statistics. And there is behind the NAT type down there, the detailed NAT information. So regardless of what this says, now what you want to be doing is basically backing out of this screen with the B button. Continue or back out. And you should see you have an open NAT type. Now I had an open NAT type at the beginning of this video. I know that's because I did it prior. And sometimes you have to do this a few times. Sometimes you may have an open NAT type. It might go off and you have to do it again. But that is how you do it. Um, if you need to rewind, go back a few steps and watch the video, be my guest, pause it, whatever you want to do. But that is the sequence of doing it. There is another way uh, which people forget to do the Mac reset, which sometimes interferes because a lot of people do the initial skip straight through to multiplayer test connection, the bumpers and back out and it doesn't work. That's because you need to make sure the power saving is done and the Mac type is reset and then follow the process and that will sort you out. Here is actually quite interesting. I'm going to check this message out because this is a guy I'm actually conversing with at the minute as many others that are going through the exact same issue as me with basically um, seeing as the release of the Ultimate Edition game. Uh, no one, well, none of us in the red can actually play the game. 
and this guy's going through the same issue. Um, people have spam avoided him. So the red rep basically is a real, real issue for players that don't send any abuse, haven't done anything wrong. They're just naturally good at the game. And people, it's so easy to do this. You just go onto their account, spam, avoids, and it processes to an automated system. There is no one reviewing these. It is literally, you avoid a player for cheating or uh, communications, anything like that. All it takes is a few of them to stack up which is supposed to take weeks to actually take effect. Uh, in our case, obviously, that's not true because me and this guy here have been fine for absolutely years and within the release of a new game, we are in full red, avoided and unable to join any multiplayer games in a matter of hours. So as you can see, people with Xbox Ones, this is a very, very, very bad system. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, things like that could be targeted by this. Um, obviously... If enough attention comes to it, I'm sure Microsoft might pull their finger out and actually sort something out because what a terrible mechanic to have in a game. An automated system with people spamming players just due to their uh, good ability at the game. But there you go. That's my issue that I'm currently going through. Um, so I'm ongoing. But like I say, I can't make any content. I can't play any games. So I'm just going to be on my game in PC and playing some uh, multiplayer stuff on there maybe csgo or some you know mmos or things like that uh, making some content on there possibly but i would prefer to get this issue sorted if not other than that i hope in that type was actually helpful to you guys but like i say if you do it the first way that many people on youtube have done it might not work just be aware of the mac reset first that is quite important anyway as always guys this is s illusions here i hope you enjoyed the video Leave a comment in the section below if you would like and I'll get back to you soon. Bye-bye.